Alright everyone, we are on the beach at Hof Achziv, the Achziv beach, which is almost the northernmost or the northernmost beach in Israel. Ahead of us you can see the white spot under the hill touching the water. That is Rosh Hanikra. Rosh Hanikra is the northernmost spot in Israel on the Mediterranean Sea. Just beyond that, the other side of that hill that we cannot see is Lebanon. So that is Israel's border with Lebanon. And this is Chof Achziv. Chof in Hebrew means beach. It's the Achziv beach. And here you can see some uh, speedboats uh, and kayaking. This rock ahead of us is called Kulkar. It's a rock that was formated from, from sand spitting up against the beach and then hardening under the water. And it's very typical to the whole shoreline of Israel from uh, all the way down from Gaza through Ashkelon and Ashdod and Tel Aviv. and all the way up north to where we are now. The sand, by the way, the, the sand here is made up of a mix of the type of crystal sand that we have in the south and stones that have wash through the valleys in the gully. Okay. There ahead of us, you can see the Achziv Nat National Park and the Achziv Beach for bathing, the public beach. And we heard the lifeguard making an announcement at the Achziv Beach. Nature Reserve has an archaeological site, a, an old fortress, and you can see here from the distance, you can see some of the palm trees around that. That, of course, is very beautiful. At Rosh Hanikran, ahead of us, there are cable cars that take you down from the top of the mountain to the waterline, where the waves have broken caves into the limestone, the white limestone that you see ahead of us. It's a very, very beautiful nature site in Israel and tourist attraction, very worthy of a visit. Further up on the mountain, to the east, on the top of the mountain, you can see the antennas, the military base, and just beyond that, again, is Lebanon. fish on the stone, standing here on this natural stone, setting their fishing rods out to catch fish here. It's all very beautiful and very relaxing. Wonderful to have the opportunity to walk around here in the northern part of Israel beautiful place to tour and to visit if you're touring in Israel. I'm actually here now taking a break with a tour group of youth who are now out on the tornado boats, which are very fast speed boats that take 10 people at a time out for a ride for about half hour, speeding through the waves along the shore of the Mediterranean in Israel's northernmost area. So it's very exciting for, for young tourists and for older tourists who are young at heart as 
well. See here, there's a little type of lagoon, and obviously, if the there's waves, and there's an opening under this rock where the water is coming through under the rock into this little lagoon. It's also interesting to see the stones. That, that this was placed here to block the passage through this rock formation. And some of these stones seem to be bazelid. They're very black, volcanic type of stone. And I wonder how they came about being here. Because as far as I know, bazelid stone is not typical to this area of nature. Here. here we can see these speedboats. It's like a ride for kids and families and tourists. Each one of these boats has a very large speedboat motor in the back. And the boat itself is pretty light. It's like an inflatable type of uh, speedboat. They call this the tornado boats. And they take 10 riders on the trip into the Mediterranean speeding around. It seems that they, they go out for about half an hour, which is really, really nice. Here in this rock, which is called Kukar, which is a sandstone, you can see that the authorities placed grids, these metal grids, in order to prevent people from climbing through the natural openings that were made by, by the waves. So if you look in here, you can hear the waves.
towers that we're passing. really love to do is to look in the, the sand along the beach for all kinds of beautiful things that can be found in the sand. Rocks that have tumbled and become very smooth. But he's taking them out now. Once they get out of this natural bay in the room, he will turn on the speed speed off into the water. Tiny islands. You can swim out there. Or take a small boat. Yeah, there's one ahead of us. They're all nature reserves. All these tiny islands, as is the beach, most of the beach here where we are. And here we're meeting up with these boats. This group of kids just coming back. To the that you enjoyed this video and then you come back and check out some of my other tours look forward to hearing your comments and input and I look forward to seeing you here in the land of Israel be well and shalom